So this is another Jordan 1 that divides opinion, but there were so many released in 2023 that it was one of those things that's difficult to kind of sort of say which one you're going to get and which one you're not. And uh, I originally bought the low versions of these and kind of liked those in hand and the black kind of panels with the elephant print. So I saw the highs on sale for £80, so I decided to buy them and basically see what they're like. So here it is, it's a uh, Jordan 1 in the elephant print. And uh, they do look very funky when I first saw them online and stuff, but I think in hand they, they give you kind of a different vibe. And then also when you kind of look at them from far away, the elephant print kind of sort of starts to fade away a bit and it just feels like a, a, a neutral sneaker on, on foot. And it has a sort of Chicago kind of blocking, so very similar to a Jordan 1 Chicago. I actually don't mind this one. The only reason I bought it is because it was on sale, but I don't think I would have paid full price for it, for instance. But uh, for £80, I couldn't, couldn't sort of not get it, I suppose. And even if I don't wear it, it's not a problem. But uh, it's a it's a cool shoe, I think. And I, I really like the low version. So, And then I did put these on feet just to kind of sort of see what they're like on feet. And they actually look really nice. I do like these kind of sort of sailed out midsole as well and kind of on the tongue as well. The label itself is sort of sailed out and that's quite nice actually. But like I said, certain trainers, they look different in hand versus when you see them online. And they, because of the saturation and the color scheme online, they just felt that the elephant print was really dark. But when you see it in hand, it's a bit more kind of muted. So, but it's still, you know, just a nice, simple Chicago blocking type shoe. And uh, I kind of dig it. Here are the details for the Air Jordan 1 High OG white cement. It comes in a tech grey, muslin and black white colourway. And it has a EVA cup sole with an airbag in the heel. It's primarily made from an all leather construction. And the price was £190. So in terms of uh, comfort and sizing, uh, much like any other Jordan 1, it's, it's gone up on the medium to firm sole. There's a little bit of give from the airbag and uh, good for sort of shock absorption. But don't expect it to be sort of class leading uh, performance in terms of comfortability and uh, they, because of that they can get sort of fatiguing after a while because of the hard sole and again like with any other Jordan 1 there isn't so much support around the arch and it can be sort of very flat and I think the wearing time for these because it's uh, a high and the leather is slightly on the sort of thicker side in my opinion it's probably sort of six to eight hours for, for it to sort of soften and feel nice on feet. I recommend going up half size for wide footers in, in terms of Jordan 1 highs in my opinion but uh, uh, it can sort of differ from person to person and uh, basically I again with like any other Jordan 1 because of the radial pattern it's very good grip for all sort of all kinds of weather so in terms of the look and style I like the fact that it's got kind of the OG Chicago color blocking so that's a, a nice plus and I've not seen too many of those types of OG color blocking uh, to, to be released and uh, basically these are sort of good to sort of rock spring autumn winter because it's predominantly white sneaker it's good for the spring time as well but uh, I won't be able to wear these in the summer because I just feel like they'll just get too hot. But uh, on the sort of slightly sort of chillier days in spring, it's a, it's a good one to have, and obviously sort of autumn winter. And uh, these ones, I think you can kind of dress them casual, but also smart casual. I think they got like a busy look to them because of the elephant print. But when you're sort of far away from them, they kind of just look like a, a grey and white sneaker. So in that respect, you can kind of kind of dress them up. And I think it's only when someone gets close they'll kind of be looking at your feet going you know what, what is that trainer but it does look a lot different to other trainers I, I suppose or other Jordan ones and uh, you can go with like the black laces and then also sell would work well with the midsole and obviously white laces so in terms of the final thoughts I like the fact that it's got sort of good material it's not amazing but it's good and uh, I actually think the elephant print works well uh, I think the more you kind of look at it the more you kind of get used to it and uh, it's one of those things, it is, it's still a Marmite thing, but I actually think it's actually different and quite nice actually. And in terms of cons, I think the cost in general Jordan 1s are priced way too high. And basically, like I said, because of the elephant print, the colourway isn't for everyone. It's sort of neutral, but at the same time it can be sort of quite busy if you kind of look at it up close. And it also depends on the pair that you get as well, so some are maybe darker than others. And in terms of the, the ratings, uh, look and style, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. I actually think it's a really nice sneaker when you get it in hand. And when I looked up in pictures, I was a bit kind of like, nah, I don't like this. And probably would have given it a sort of 2 out of 5. But uh, in hand, it, it just does it does look a lot nicer. Comfort, I think, is just a 3. Standard, sort of fair, like any other Jordan 1. 
and the quality I give it a four. It's, it's nice enough, and uh, it, they've done a good job on, on these, and the elephant print is very sort of uh, consistent. And the pricing, I'd give it a, th a three out of five. It's just priced way too high, in my opinion. But overall, I still think it's a solid uh, Jordan one, and uh, they've been going for sort of less than sort of half price. But in all honesty, I think when you put it on feet and sort of rock it with a, sort of a black and white outfit, for example, it works really well. So I personally think uh, if you can get them for cheap, definitely worth grabbing.